Hey guys, what's up? Arvin here. Now today in this video, I'm going to show you what is inside the Alright 12 volts mini drill. If you're interested, watch this video. Okay, so this is the Alright 12 volts mini drill and I recently bought this from Shopee and I uh, this is to replace my old um, my old uh, Wheeler uh, wait one moment this is to replace my old Wheeler 12 volts um, hobby mini drill okay so it says 12 volts with 12,000 rpm okay this is a 12 volts with the 12,000 rpm okay and um, the reason why I've got this or I, I bought this one because this has a huge play okay not very good for uh, for precision cutting in my opinion okay so I got this one and um, in my previous video I showed you how I, I already show you how it works how to use it unfortunately in uh, my previous videos when I tried to drill a uh, block of wood unfortunately I was I, I damaged the uh, included power adapter so what i'm using right now is the adapter um, the 12 volts one amp unfortunately still one it's way much lower than the one that i uh, comes with the package so this is a 12 volts one amp uh, power supply from the abs cv and tv box or the tv box now the thing here uh it, it's actually it's the, the plug is uh, the plugs uh, connect properly here that the, uh, the drill the electric drill and when I turn it on so it runs very fast and and that is actually the fastest so yeah it's working for and it's good for let's say a thin plastic or let's say thin metal it's okay but for drilling um, wood thin metal thin plastic it can drill thin metal thin, thin plastic but in this video I'm going to sh um, I'm, I'm I'm going to show you what is inside this mini drill I'm excited what to see actually I've already opened this one but I'm I wanted to for you to see what is inside this um, this uh, knob okay that controls the voltage going to the motor Okay, and as you may, you may have noticed, I've already uh, was able to replace the uh, removable chuck with this one. This is the uh, adjustable chuck, which means that you don't need to um, remove this chuck in order for you to use a, a different size of drill or, or adapter or, or grinder. Okay, so it's very handy, very useful. And if you want to, to do this, uh, to use this one in your... Um, electric drill all you have to do is just remove the collar part of the uh, this one I don't know okay, so let me show you how it looks like you don't need to remove everything because this holds the uh, the body or the co the body of the cover or the body of the the this drill together okay so it's right here I just remove this part okay the upper portion so and like I told you this holds the the front part or the upper part of the motor of the body of the motor or the shell of the motor okay now in order for us to open this we need to remove five screws so one two three four five so let me just get my handy uh, mini screwdriver and the last one okay okay so at first I thought this uh, you need to twist this or something no it's not as you can see I can you can easily open this one okay and yes it has a, a very small motor um let me just check the size it's 
not very big and that's very huge but it's very powerful I should say and as you may notice there is a uh, like a silicon part here and that is actually a small a small size ball bearing okay so this holds the uh, if you may notice there is a very long shaft here going to the uh, chuck so when you do this or when you do grinding it uh, it actually holds the shaft firmly in its axis so there's no moving or whatsoever okay and actually there is a small uh, centrifugal fan right here but I think it's not doing its job very well because there is a cover or see uh, the part of the, the the part of the shell is covering the motor itself when both when both shell are together if you can see right there okay so if we put together the shell as you may notice it's covered so it is not uh, this is actually not practical or not not doing anything I we, we can remove this you can remove this if you want to but it's up to you okay so moving on to the speed controller or the motor controller and it says here let me just get my glasses this is a um, can I zoom in? not quite sure if it's showing but I'll just take a picture of this this is an LM 317T okay this is a uh, let me just search the internet for that so an LM 317T is a it's a volt variable power volt uh, voltage power regulator mostly if you search the uh, YouTube you can find a lot of uh, projects that involves or the uh, projects regarding the LM317 and mostly this is to control voltage um, or to it's like a pulse width modulator I guess yep so it says linear voltage regulator okay and uh, there is a um, there's quite a few uh, huh? surface mounted resistors it's a 3.1k resistor okay and that's it very simple very nice now um, unfortunately because since I cannot use my um, I cannot use my uh, adjustable power supply through this and uh, to, to to make this uh, run properly I need to uh, bypass the LM317 T going here that will act as a just a regular on off uh, on off switch for me okay but if you want to you can simply just put a uh, regular switch or an on off switch right here okay I'm not going to do this right now but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, bypass the LM317 T so I can use this uh, this uh, the switch okay there is uh, adjustable switch or a potentiometer how shall I say this yeah it says here LM317 T-02 okay so let me just pause this video for a while while I get my uh, pre prepare my soldering iron okay by the way um, going back to the motor electric motor so upon checking uh, the size the width and everything and this is actually on a 280 size motor so this is a high speed strong magnetic um, electric motor rated of 3 to 12 volts um, there's some I saw that it's rated 3 to 24 volts okay so this is a very strong electric motor okay now let's I'm um, going what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, use this knob this uh, on off switch and a voltage adjuster or uh, is, is this a potentiometer <laughs> okay or a uh, I forgot the term but yeah it's up to you but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to 
uh, use this switch so that I can use my adjustable uh, voltage power supply okay by the way before we do this uh, before I uh, hack this one I'm going to show you the reason why I'm going to do this like I mentioned earlier um, every time that um, I, when I damage the uh, stock power supply for this drill I tried to use my um, my adjustable power supply so when I plug this in and turn it on so it's not working at, it's working but I need to push this one let me just see okay so even if I turn the knob uh, here the adjustable uh, the adjustable knob here it's not really working and i'm pushing up 20 volts here so because of this it's still controlling the uh voltage coming here uh, going here in my motor so i'm going to turn it up see if i turn it back on it's not working properly so what i'm going to do Oh, it's getting hot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect uh, or put a jumper. Uh, but first, I need to remove the connect the connection from the LM317 to uh, to the motor. Okay, and that is the middle part. So, one moment. I may need a few things to help me with this. Okay, so actually I already tested this before I shoot this video. So what I did is there is a uh, there is this electric motor, uh, this um, wire going to the motor is connected to the middle part of the LM317. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a jumper from here. hands are shaking okay so let's make sure that we have a very good solder connection or solder connection and then we put it uh, and then we connect this one directly right here uh, why not right here so I'm not going to and then let's put back the, this, the wire motor wire back okay there you go that's it simple as that so what happened here is we're we, we're going to just simply use um this as as an as a switch it's an on off switch okay so as you see earlier when i tried to use my um adjustable power supply so when i plug it here okay Okay, and then I'm going to adjust the uh, speed and the thing is using a uh, adjustable uh, power supply you can um, control the voltage evenly very uh, like you see I can turn this to a very slow motion okay uh, let me put uh, three volts okay and going up okay and I'm putting here 19 volts okay. there you go now unfortunately this will not be usable it get, uh, anymore you can only use this to turn off and turn on the electric motor or otherwise if you are uh, if you prefer 
a, uh, a regular on off switch you can do so maybe in the future or in my future video I'm going to do that but for now this is uh, this is usable for me because of time constraint I'm don't usually um, I'm I have a very limited time um, I mean I'm, I'm only and I'm very busy at work so I don't usually get to do this so now let's put this back together okay Just making sure that the wire is not getting on the way. Whoa. Okay. Perfect fit. So now let's put all the five screws back. And making sure all the screws is tight so there will be no wobbling or whatever and let's put back this um, like a latch or what do you call this a uh, oh, and then we can now put back there the adjustable chuck okay so let me just try and put this. This is the uh, included um, uh, saw, bladed saw, or what it was usually. This is for, um, can be used for thin plastic and thin metal or wood. Okay, so there you have it. And let's turn it on. Okay, and let's adjust the speed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's way much faster than included uh, <clears throat> the included 12 volt uh, power supply of the all right, and I'm guessing this will last a little bit longer. Okay, hopefully. So all you, this now functions as an on-off on switch now. There you go. So if I wanted to adjust the speed, I'm just going to turn the knob on my power supply. And I can make this as slow as possible. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay so <clears throat> that's it okay so there you have it you already now saw what is inside this all right um all right 12 volts mini drill uh, the reason why i shoot this video uh, why that but why i did this video was trying to find a um disassembly of this um, this uh, electric motor or this micro drill or mini drill I should say before I wanted to buy this one because I find this very nice very very handy very small as you can see the design is very good it looks very it's it looks high quality and I should say for the price this is worth more than the price that I paid for okay but roughly around 300 pesos on the internet I, I will post the link in the description box if you are interested uh, where I bought this uh, electric drill now there are several changes that I made on this all right mini drill first is I purchased this 
uh, adjustable chuck okay meaning that you you can put a uh, different sizes of drill bits as you notice when I turn this um, when I turn this clockwise it goes big and then when I turn this counterclockwise okay so this accepts a wide range of sizes of drill bits and grinder okay the next in order for me to be able to use this adjustable um, chuck I need to remove um, call the, the part of the collar right here that blocks or that's uh, that blocks here when I when I screw it all the way right there okay so I need to remove a piece of plastic right here okay then what I did the last um, uh, the last modification that I did is bypassing the LM317 voltage control a voltage controller inside <coughs> this uh, inside this uh, part in order for me to be able to use my power supply this uh, my power supply is from um, 3 volts 1.5 up to 24 volts uh, 24 volts with 4 amps uh, with the power of 4 amps okay now without bypassing the LM317 for one uh, for some reason I'm not very uh, I'm not really very good in electronics if there are some of you who can explain it to me or to us who's watching this video right now I would highly appreciate it because the I just made my own voltage power supply from a uh, out of a, uh, a laptop adapter that I have uh, lying around and I, I purchased an adjustable uh, the uh, adjustable voltage <laughs> voltage adjusting uh, that I purchased also off of there and then put it in a, bo a nice box okay so when I plug it here um, without doing the uh, oh, and then I try to turn it on it will run for some uh, at one point for some reason it will not go into it, the power that I'm getting from the power supply my adjustable power supply is not being utilized by the motor so all I have I need to bypass the LM317 now this will only serve as an on off switch for this drill but by doing so I can have all the power from the power supply go directly to my electric motor and I can adjust as precisely in this base on the speed and the amps that I want the motor to uh, put out okay by doing so also I can do a precision drilling and also precision cutting because of the uh, the the ball bearing that is uh, located right here this avoids the wobbling there's almost zero to no wobbling or non wobbling this is not not the the, the shafting is not wobbly wobbly or it doesn't wobble at all meaning that I can cut precisely and the design as well it looks like a pen that I can handle so when I do drilling or let's say if some of you can use this to uh, engrave let's say if you wanted to do an, uh, an engraving on on a glass or let's say on a ceramic um, you may purchase an engraving uh, engraving tool or a adjustment uh, attachment right here so you can do that okay and I'm guessing <coughs> because uh, well the only the only thing that uh, that might um, damage in the future is the electric motor but this the size of the motor is uh, only 280 but it's a very uh, powerful electric motor that you can purchase uh, so cheaply over the internet okay and very very cheap and very cheap and also this 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 motor this drill is very cheap if you damage this okay, all you have to just simply buy one but damaging the motor by using a, a, a power supply that rated from 3 to 12 volts with 4 amps of 4 amps you will you're not you will not be damaging this very soon okay even my wheeler uh, 12 volts um, I mean my wheeler 12 volts electric drill lasted 15 so that's is it 15 10 years of being used almost on a daily basis with more than the rated uh, voltage on the uh, on the electric motor 
the only the only trouble the only problem that I encountered is the on off switch all I have to do just change the switch the on off switch and it's still working because the electric motor is very basic it's a very basic electric motor okay so if you're into electronics you already know what the electric motor is okay so if you're planning to buy this one I would highly suggest or I will I highly recommend if you're into into a uh, into into scale modeling let's say a uh, Gundam Tamiya uh, uh, Tamiya scale model <coughs> the tank scale modeling if you're into electronics uh, let's say if you're you're you're, you're doing uh, micro drilling okay for PCV uh, for electronic boards drilling electronic boards this is very handy and uh, Perhaps in my next video or in my next video, I'm going to show you the uh, portable um, <clears throat> adjustable power supply that um, I specifically made for this um, electric drill so that I can bring this anywhere that I go. So most of the time, because I'm all, always outside or not here in my work area and I stay here, stay in my work area for several days, so maybe I can bring this there. Okay, so there you have it. And uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And also, please don't forget to, uh, to share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay? See you all in my next video.